Hey Repscalians, look, we've got to do an update on boosters. We've been getting a lot of inquiries in person via email about boosters because a lot of our clinicians, the frontline peeps who got their shots in December are now saying, you know, it's been a long time, six months, seven months since I got these vaccinations. I've been hearing about boosters. So what's the deal? Let me try and summarize from the various experts from the CDC, WHO, uh, what we think we know right now. So the experts in the field believe that this type of coronavirus means that we are probably going to need a booster. It might be as frequently as annually because you tend to have waning immunity of coronaviruses. They're not sure because this one is obviously a little different than the other ones. So you can have an expectation that about every year you might need a booster shot, much like the flu shot. It's not guaranteed, but that's sort of the thought. The manufacturers themselves, the Pfizer, Moderna and others, are already planning on a booster shot for two reasons. One, because of waning immunity, but two, because we've got so many variants, so much replication of the virus out there. We've got Alpha, Beta, we've got Delta and no doubt we'll have more to come. These variants appear to be more infectious, they appear to be more deadly. And so the idea of a booster shot to you know, improve your immunity for that original variant, plus something that covers much better the new variants, uh, is a good idea. The current vaccines do appear to cover these variants pretty well, but that may not necessarily be true in the future, and a booster could cover them even better. So that's a couple of reasons to get your booster shot in the future. Now, the manufacturers are also thinking that they can do uh, booster shots, which might actually cover even future variants that haven't occurred yet by looking at the way these uh, proteins fold. They might be able to do something what some of them are suggesting is a universal booster. Look at every possible combination that that virus could come up with and still be sort of the same virus with the same sort of spike protein. So you might get a booster in the future that can cover you for not just what has been, but what could be reasonably in the future, which is quite exciting, right? And actually the studies of these boosters are ongoing right now. So how will we know the timing of a booster? When will we need this? Well, the biggest and I think the best way that they're looking at this is they're, they're looking at the original people in the original studies and they're following them longitudinally and if they start to see breakthrough infection in that group, they're going to say, okay, now's the time we should start thinking about boosters. So those original people in the original studies is where you start and then you can do some more public health stuff. Now you've got it out in the population. We're seeing breakthroughs in the population of people who have been vaccinated. There will, of course, be some people that are going to get infected because these are not 100%. But if you start seeing more and more and more people, you're like, okay, looks like you're getting waning immunity. Now, it's very important to understand that you can't just look at antibody levels because it is normal and in fact it is necessary that those antibody levels go down over time because you can imagine you know we're getting infected with viruses and bacteria and fungi all the time if every time that you got an infection your antibody levels went high and didn't drop then over time you'd have more and more and more antibodies and your plasma would be thick sludge so it is normal and it is expected and it is right that the antibodies will drop over time but your memory cells were ready so that if you get reinfected they come up very quickly. So we can't just look at antibody levels. We have to look at other markers, and there are sort of markers that they can do with T cells and stuff. But also clinically is the strongest way to look at this. Are people getting you know, reinfections? Now we need to do boosters. So I think there's really good news on the booster front. Right now you don't have to worry about it. You probably don't have to worry about it for about a year. When the boosters come along, it won't just be for the original version of the virus. It will be for subsequent versions. You can't follow antibodies because it's expected that they'll go down. There's much more complicated tests that they can sort of guess at whether you're going to need a booster shot. But it's really about following those original cohorts of people, and you might be one of them, over time to see are there sort of breakthrough infections more than we expect. Okay, now we need to do this. The CDC is on this, Vivek Murphy's spoken about this, other people that are on the task force have all spoken about this. So this is you know, front of mind for everybody. And uh, we will let you know as soon as they say, okay, now is the time. But the good news is that the manufacturers are already starting to their work on this and already starting the trials on this. So uh, you're cool for now, and we'll let you know when things change. Herbert out.